So now we get to the second part of the interview. We have to ask further questions to understand your problem better. Okay? Now that I know all about your history. But I won't take too much of your time. Just a little cooperation from you will do. Okay? okay? So lately, how has your mood been? Mm. I would say that my mood is okay. It's okay. How about your sleep? And your appetite? My appetite. Um, I think I'm a, uh, I'm a good visual. Okay. Any memory problems? Any problems? Like problems with your memory? Uh, mm. Difficulty remembering things? Yes, I have those problems. I think uh, my my memory can be removed in, by some people. and So sometimes I just forget things. And I think I have this memory uh, problem. Okay. How about your concentration? Are you able to concentrate on anything at all? My concentration is very poor. Yes, because uh, I have these tormentors who usually talk of coming to get me. So I usually lose concentration and I become too scared. I have to run. So I don't. So do you have any particular worries on your mind now? Yes. Can you tell me about I hear it? them. They say they are coming to get me. If you have to, they say they are coming to bed, I don't know what to do. Okay. I feel like running away. I don't know, the police who brought me should help me with this. But do you have thoughts of harming other people or harming yourself? No, when these thoughts come to me, uh, all I do is to run away. I'm so scared even to defend myself. Yes. They say they are coming to get me. And unless I defend myself, I, I, I run away, I must get something to defend myself. And it comes to so issues. I'm too scared. I have no thoughts of harming anyone. By the way, do you know that my, uh, my brother-in-law won a lottery? So I just feel like telling you. Okay, that's fine. Congratulations to him. Me and lots of money. That's fine, that's fine. These people they are tormenting you. Do you ever see them? No, I've never seen them before. Yes. Once I saw a man, the first time I saw him was uh, dressed in all red. And it was after that that uh, the dust started coming. Yes, but I saw him grow when I was crossing the street sometime. Is somebody you know? No, I don't know him, but since then, I don't know, he gave me such a strange look. And I think he's the one who is responsible for all of this. Possessing me by magic. So you believe that this particular man is out there to harm you? Exactly, he and his sex. I don't know if he is part of a certain sex. So these members, usually, whatever I do, they talk about this. And I hear them talking about me. Did you hear that? No. You see, they're coming to get me. I feel like I'm fine now. Yes. It's okay. You see, I'm okay. Are no, you sure I'm safe? Yeah, here. it's going to be all right. Okay, I don't worry so. about it. Okay. What, you just talk about coming to get you. That's yes. all they tell you. And that's, I must run away or find something to defend myself. And I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Do you sometimes comment on the things you do? Yes, they do it, and it becomes so severe that I have to run away to my church, and, and yeah, they do it. Okay. Do you have a feeling some people are trying to take your thoughts out, or they try to insert thoughts into your head? Mm, as I was saying, they take my thoughts away, and. I sometimes I, I become so confused, my thoughts become my thought. And they can insert it just any time they want. And I, 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 I just don't know how they do that, how they do it, but I know it's by some some sort of magic. And I I, I think that the thoughts that I think are not mine. Okay. Do you believe that people around you hear what you are thinking? Mm, I suppose so. They should hear. I was very surprised you said you did not hear what they were saying. Okay. Like, no. I mean, when you think about something, 
do you believe the people around you also hear what you are thinking? Mm, sometimes I hear my thoughts loudly, spoken out loudly. Okay. Do you believe they are trying to control you? Or sometimes you think you are not really acting out the things you want to act, but you are like, like you are in a trance or you are in a clay? Mm, as I said, they usually want to come in. They, they, they have possession of my thoughts, so I think they are controlling me. All your actions? Yes. I just hope we can do something about this one. Or maybe the police. Okay. And when you know why they should even bring me here in the first place. Okay. And when you watch a TV show or listen to a radio program, do you sometimes have a feeling that you are the one being talked about? Exactly. How did you know that? I see people who have similar problems. It happens to me a lot. Anytime I switch on the radio to listen to some news, the news is directed at me. And I become so scared. When I put on the television to watch a movie, the movie is directed at me. This is so serious. So now I just, I don't even uh, watch anything, listen to anything. I don't even talk to friends. When my friends are even talking, I'm the center of attention. So how do you feel about the future? You think life is worth living? Mm. Thoughts of ending my life usually cross me, but due to my religion, when they come to me, I just uh, pray about it and uh, spend some time in the church, maybe weeks, days in the church, at the, uh, at the door of the church and at the case. And I pray and I think, it becomes okay, but when I come home, everything starts again, and I become so scared. Sometimes I have to even hide under the bed. When I think I cannot make it to the church, I hide under the bed. Do you believe you are ill? I don't think I'm ill. What is happening to me is real. It's very real. I'm never ill. But are you willing to accept any help from us? Maybe pharmacological help, met any no, medicine. I don't need any medications. All I need is just tell the police to uh, to deal with my tormentors for me. That is all I need. How about if you could give you some pills that would help take these tormentors away? I don't think I need any pills. I don't need any pills. Do you know where you are now? Right now I am in the uh, psychology. I am with you, Department of Psychology. You know what time of day it is, the date? Mm -hmm. It is a uh, festival, right? Yes. Festival. Okay. And it is some some time after after noon. I don't okay. know, maybe two p.m. Okay. Maybe something. And you know who I am? Yes, you are Doctor Osei. Okay. All right. So that will be it for now. Thanks for your cooperation.